Before you sell your Funko Pop collection, let's chat a little bit on why you should or maybe shouldn't. Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. I do hope you're enjoying your day today. So today we're gonna be discussing the topic of selling Funko Pop collections. I wanna say in the last year or two, I've been seeing a lot of people deciding to sell their Funko Pop collections or have been transitioning into selling their collections. I've also got a lot of questions of people asking me, where can they sell their collections? How should they sell their collections? So today I wanted to talk a little bit about this, how the hobby has changed. If you should sell your collection or if you should not, as well as give you tips on where you can sell them and how to. I think the best place to start in this video is asking a specific question and that is, why do you want to sell your Funko Pop collection? Is it overwhelming? Do you not like collecting anymore? Is it becoming too expensive? As you notice, Funko has increased some prices lately on different exclusives or different commons, new Pop Plus styles and all that. Or is it just overall not fun anymore? So again, I encourage you to ask yourself that question and find the answer because that'll ultimately tell you whether you want to sell your collection or not. Because for example, it's very easy to get overwhelmed when buying Funko Pops, especially when you first start collecting. I did it and many other people did it. We bought all the things that we liked. We bought Iron Man there, then we bought Goku, then we bought a Xenomorph from Alien. We bought all kinds of stuff. And then maybe like a year or two down the line, you're looking at your collection and you're like, wow, this is really all over the place. Why did I buy all this stuff? Because sometimes, just because you like it, you maybe shouldn't buy it. But it's a lesson a lot of people have to learn, myself included. This was a big lesson I learned the first like two to three years of collecting. Eventually I got a little wiser and I realized I don't need variations of everything, as well as I don't need pops of everything that I like. Just because I watch a new TV show doesn't mean I automatically need to collect the new set of pops, you know? I think a lot of the overwhelming feeling as well, especially with Funko, is with how much they pump out so fast. Because you've noticed lately they've been pumping out maybe 50 to 70 pops almost every single week. It is getting nuts lately. And it overwhelms you financially, even if a majority of these are pre-orders. Once all that money starts coming out of your account, you're like, oh, oh my gosh, stop. Stop taking my money, Funko. Now, another point is, is it even fun to collect anymore? And this also ties into it being overwhelming because they're constantly bombarding you with different variations. Something's exclusive one day, then it's unvaulted one day, then it's a glow in the dark, a metallic, a flocked, and it's just never ending. And of course, I know a lot of people are gonna quote in the comments, if you don't like it, you don't have to buy it, which is true, but it's always fair to ask a company like Funko the question, why are you giving us seven different styles of the same figure? I think it's pretty fair to say that something else that doesn't make a lot of fun is that things that you want sell out very quickly because sometimes, let's say a hot one piece drop, okay? They'll put out 15,000 stock of that. It sells out, a lot of people are bummed out. But let's say they put out a new Ironheart pop and there's like 30,000 of those and then that just sits on shelves and it leaves you scratching your head like, why did they make so much more of that when the demand for this One Piece character was so much more, you know? So it stresses a lot of people out when they financially can't keep up because they constantly have to buy an exclusive or a new pop on the aftermarket for double or triple. And of course, majority of the time, that's just the name of the game, especially in, in any collectible hobby. That is something you are going to have to deal with regardless of what you're collecting, though it can initially be at least kind of stopped by Funko putting out more stock for specific figures versus other ones that don't sell very well because it just doesn't make sense with their stock counts most of the time. Just to put more thought into this statement really quickly is that I'm actually still an advocate for having limited pieces in a hobby and all that. However, I've noticed the majority don't really like when something sells out really quickly so that's why i'm quoting this as a community note mostly as i made the comparison something should have a lot of stock available for everybody and then eventually when it's vaulted they should just leave it alone in terms of the roger versus ironheart not a lot of people really want ironheart nor did they ask for it to be in a team bundle but there are still so many fans that wanted roger on its release and it sold out very quickly so now that i've explained all of those a little bit more thoroughly let me know if you guys are feeling any of those things with your collection. It just makes me kind of sad to see how many people are leaving the hobby and new people are joining every single day, but I see a lot of people actively selling their collections every single day because they just can't keep up anymore or they're bored or Funko's oversaturated the market, et cetera, et cetera. So it just makes me a little sad given I've been collecting now seven years, doing videos for almost seven years. So, you know, I've seen a lot of the good, a lot of the bad. I haven't been here since the beginning of Funko, but I've seen a lot. And with how much I've seen, it does tie into my own personal feelings on how I feel about Funko as a company, how I feel about my collection, 
I myself also get very overwhelmed. I've mentioned this multiple times in previous videos. If you've ever seen one of my office cleaning videos or downsizing collection videos, I mention all the time where I, I feel way overwhelmed having like five, 600 pops sometimes. And I don't even know how much I have right now. I haven't counted in like two years or so, but that's part of the problem you get so many and then you're looking at all these and you're like, what have I done? So if you're considering your collection due to being overwhelmed, here's a cool little tip that I like to do. I like to go through my collection every once in a while and look at a collection or a specific pop and be like, hey, do I like this as much as when I bought it? No? Okay, let's get rid of it and let's replace it with something I like more or use the money to buy something else, maybe a different kind of collectible. Reinvest in yourself or reinvest something else. And that's a really great way to maintain the size of your collection as well as keep up financially to where you can just sell a piece out of your collection and use that money to continue buying pops in your collection. Basically cycling out your Funko Pop collection every now and then because people's interests change every single day. You'll wake up a new person every single day. Another tip that I have for you guys is something that I I've seen a lot of people telling me when they sold their collections is that they sold like 90% of it and only kept like maybe 10 or 20 that really made them happy. So if you're feeling like you've hit your limit and you just can't collect anymore, you can't keep up, do what they did. Sell a majority of your collection, not all of them, just keep a few that really make you happy and then you can also kind of rebuild your collection from there. Start over, that's another option too. Sell everything and completely start over. People do that all the time. So now that we've kind of discussed a little bit on maybe how you're feeling about your collection and a couple tips of what you can do to kind of alleviate that pressure you might feel, if you ultimately decide that you just don't want to collect anymore and you are done, here's a couple more tips I have for you guys in terms of selling your pops. One of the first questions you got to ask when you're selling your pops is how much money are you willing to lose or how much money are you wanting to make? And what I mean by that is selling individually, one by one, or selling them all in bulk. Those are usually your only two options here. Obviously selling them individually is going to gain you the most amount of money every single time. But if you sell them in bulk, that's where you have to decide how much money you're willing to lose. Because there are people out there that do buy collections. One of the best people I know who does constant whatnot shows, you may even know him, is Savage Pops here. Here is your Instagram, he's a good friend of mine. He usually offers a great amount of money for Funko Pop collections, or or he may even buy some other stuff too but I wanted to mention him as a really good source because he's always actively looking for pops. He's a super nice guy. Now there are also plenty of other people who do buy collections out there. You can find them on Facebook Marketplace. They most likely have like an ad or a listing up. You can also find them in Facebook groups or maybe even on Instagram pages. It just takes a little bit of research but they are out there. Now you have to understand though, depending on what is in your collection, if your collection's all commons or lower end exclusives, let's say 10 to $20 pops, you're usually gonna get a lot less than what it's valued at because they can only make so much money on that. Now, if your collection is full of a lot of grails and maybe $50 and up pops, usually you get a lot more money for that because those are easier to sell and it's not something that will just sit. I just wanna keep this in mind. And don't take this as me like promoting flippers or resellers and all that. I'm more so just trying to give you avenues as to if you wanna sell your collection all in one go and wanna be done, these are some of your best options because Something I would never recommend is taking it to like a comic book shop because they're usually gonna give you around 20 to 25% of the value. And I'm not knocking those shops by any means. Sometimes that's all those stores can offer, especially if it's a lot of commons because they do have a rent to pay. They have to store this stuff and all that. There is a million factors that go into buying and spending that much money on product and all that. I wish they would offer more though, personally. I would just never take my collection to a comic book shop. It is just not a good place to take it if you're looking to maximize your money from your collection. Now, as far as selling things individually, you have plenty of options here. You can sell them on eBay, you can sell them on whatnot, Mercari, Facebook groups, Facebook Marketplace, Instagram, uh, Twitter, all kinds of different avenues here. It's a little bit easier when you have a following granted. However, the more you post, the more people you're gonna reach. But I would recommend if you're just starting out, you don't have much of a following or anything like that, apply to Whatnot to sell on there. eBay also obviously has their search listing, so you're pretty good there. Or Facebook groups where you can reach thousands of people all at once. I genuinely think at the end of the day, a majority of people are going to hit that limit where it's just not fun to collect anymore or they lose interest and they wanna collect something else, which is 100% okay. It happens every single day. Eventually, I will completely lose interest in Funko too. I've literally done nothing but talk about Funko Pops for almost seven years now. That's gonna take its toll on me more than it's already have eventually. Nobody can do something forever. But I will say at the moment, I am still having fun collecting, so I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. 
hopefully anyways, hopefully nothing crazy happens in my life where I have to sell my entire collection. Um, but I will say eventually I will be making a change. I won't be doing Funko content forever. I don't know exactly when that will be, when I will stop this channel, but I do wanna let you guys know in the next few years, it will probably happen. I can't confidently sit here and tell you that I will be doing this forever. It's just not true. So guys, I think that's all the tips and information I pretty much have for you guys. It's actually pretty simplistic, but a lot of people just don't know where to start. And I've wanted to make this video for a while now because the messages I get are increasing of people wanting to sell their collections or just get out altogether. Uh, so let me know again how you guys are feeling. Are you at that point where you want to sell your collection or maybe you're just kind of in the middle where you know you still like collecting, you just can't keep up, maybe you just want to start over. I would really love to hear your thoughts and opinions because you sharing your thoughts will probably help out a lot of people who are really struggling with this too because Funko is something that is really fun. However, there's also a lot of downsides to the company as we've seen in recent years a lot of really shady things they've did, a lot of really good things they've done too. So obviously there is the good and the bad, but different things that this company does will leave bad tastes in people's mouths, make them not wanna collect anymore, yada, yada, yada. So again, let me know how you're feeling. But hopefully this video was helpful to you, and if you guys need any further explanations about anything, drop a comment down below, I'll do my best to answer it more. Nonetheless though, again, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button down below if you did enjoy, and subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here. I do wanna say a big shout out to all the awesome patrons for the channel. You guys are amazing for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and wanna check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a patreon only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And lastly, make sure you follow me on all my social medias at Skinner Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.